You know, I'm a Michael Jackson fan. I take, I call it, it's time. You have to look at the person that's in the mirror. You have to look at yourself because a lot of times what happens is when we talk about conflict resolution, it's not always what the person said. It's our perception. It's how we perceive what they said and how it made us feel. And when we feel some type of way, we react on it. Whenever we feel some type of way, we react on how we feel. If we don't identify those feelings. If we don't identify those feelings and say, hey, wait a minute, I'm feeling what you said was, it didn't make me feel too good. So then you have to listen, and we're going to get in that to a little bit later, on a, a few slides later. You have to listen, internally listen, and then you have to analyze, well, what, what exactly did they say that made me feel this way? And then you ask. Or you reflect. Did you say, I heard you say such and such and such and such. And then you ask, well, why did you say that? Because when you said it, it made me feel this way. Now, how often in, in the midst of conflict do we ask all those questions? Never. Never. We never. We just go in off the first thing that happens or say it. But that's why we create more problems. So if we're going to build, if we're going to resolve conflict, it, I, 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 oftentimes I say it just takes five more words. Just five more words. Just it. Just five simple words. Why did you make me feel this way? Or why did you say that? Ask. We just go off of what? Perception. Or how we felt. Communication blocker causes conflict start. Uh, causes a com causes of conflict start. And we just talked about it a little bit. Wrong attitudes. Y'all can come on. <laughs> Wrong attitudes. Sometimes you just have a bad attitude. Just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I stuck my toe this morning. I didn't have any coffee this morning. I couldn't find anything anywhere to work. I didn't have enough gas in the car. I'm running late. So by the time I get to work, my attitude is all jacked up, and you said something that I didn't like. And what happened? It causes something else to happen. And then people. You know, people are just people. Last month we talked about personality. Different people have different personalities. And they can be irritating to certain personalities. <laughs> they can be irritating. So if you don't understand those people, it can cause conflict. Busyness, sometimes we're just busy. A lot of us have really busy lives. We have busy lives and when things don't go as we plan them to go, and somebody says something, or something happens, somebody cuts us off, you know, somebody gets in front of us in line, you saw me coming, lady, you see, <laughs> and you came here, and I'm on a time schedule, it causes conflict. Fear rejection. That's one thing we don't talk about a lot. A lot of us, you know, we've been rejected in our youth or in our past relationships. And what happens is conflict shows up because somebody says something and we feel rejected. 